On lap 42 of the Bahrain GP, Magnussen on P12 was ahead of Sonoda by 2.4 seconds. Daniel Ricciardo was behind his teammate in P14. But 10 laps later, Tsunoda still could not overtake Magnussen. However, to his credit, the 2.4 seconds gap is now down to just 0.5 seconds. Nonetheless, on lap 52, the team asked Tsunoda to let Ricardo through. Yuki, driver swap. Driver swap. Are you kidding me now? One lap later, on lap 53, Ricardo got on the radio. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to say anything. Then Tsunoda opened the door and let him through. But that was only the beginning. Soon after, Max Verstappen lapped both Visa cars. On the 54th lap, Magnussen had opened the gap between him and Ricardo to 2.1 seconds. Remember that Magnussen was only 0.5 seconds ahead of Tsunoda when they asked him to give his position to Ricardo. The Japanese got on the radio to thank his team. Yeah, thanks guys. I appreciate it. By lap 55, Tsunoda got back on the radio, but this time around he exploded. Yeah, he better speed up, man. Loud and clear, Yuki. Just do your best. He's, he's not fast. He's not fast at all. We are looking at it. At the end of the race, Ricardo was interviewed. Having heard all the mean words his teammate had for him, this was how he responded. We know what he's like. He obviously, during the moment, he's very, I'm being very sensible right now, but let's call it immaturity. Tsunoda, on his part, demanded a review as he rightly pointed out that he was just about to catch Magnuson. I was just about to overtake Magnuson. I was side by side on the main straight and got a driver swap for the last few laps. To be honest, I didn't understand what the team thought, so I have to understand what they were thinking, but... So far, I don't understand. We have to review what was their thoughts, to be honest. I don't really understand. At the end of the race, nothing changed, and their CEO admitted they could have avoided the mess. Ricardo still finished behind Magnussen. The team created a needless friction between their drivers. The best-case scenario was either driver would have overtaken Magnussen and then Joe to sit in P11. Leave us your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this is the beginning of a bigger problem between both drivers? This is Front Lockout. Signing off.